How to fix iPhone 7 searching for network all the time. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman. Today's video is about very common problem nowadays in iPhone 7, which is searching for network all the time without SIM card inside the phone. You can see here the phone is searching. Excuse me, this is in Arabic language and it will end with no service. You may get also this message. Uh, I will translate it for you. It's uh, failed to update the cellular settings. Let's check the IMEI if it's there. I doubt. It's not there. Let's look at the board. The board looks very clean. Oh, at least from the other side. I can see here that someone already reflowed the audio chip because also there is a common fault in the iPhone 7 which is the trace under the audio chip. It's uh, tend to get broken and that lead to the phone start to boot loop and the touch is lagging and some other problems with audio like the microphone is not working or loudspeaker is not working. So I guess because of the temperature here, because of their flow, and because under this uh, codec chip from the other side here, there is a baseband chip. Maybe the technician who reflowed this PCB spent much time reflowing and the balls underneath the baseband chip disconnected or shorted. Let's remove that uh, RF shield to check the baseband if there is any solder balls coming from the area mm, I don't see any solder balls coming from the baseband chip let's check the resistance value on these coils Oh, we have a short here. Here is fine. Another short. Here is okay. Wow, three shorts. That's definitely a problem because the baseband chip, we cannot replace it because it's encrypted chip. So this chip belongs to that phone only. And if you bring another iPhone and you try to take the baseband chip, it will, not, it will never work. Before I have seen many devices with short on this line and maybe this line or that line, but not the three together first time to see the three lines is shorted which makes me feel like the balls under the baseband got connected together so let's remove the baseband chip if the baseband chip is the one is shorted we will not find a short on the pcb after removing it protect your cpu with a heatsink then remove the underfill with low temperature 200 Take care to not scratch the board. Always when I try to give advice, in the same time, I do what I tell you not to do. See, I tell you don't scratch the board, but this is okay. This is just to mark the place. But if you got deeper, you will cut the layers. I don't want to say take care to not break this coil because if I tell you don't do something I will do it myself but take care don't break this coil Actually, don't break anything, not only the coil, don't break anything. If you break the coil, 
the coil will not be able to boost or do uh, its job if you break a sh uh, if you break a capacitor the capacitor will make short Okay, now increase the temperature as you wish. For me, I use 400. And as you can see, there is nothing shorted underneath the chip. There is no short. I don't see pads sticking together. There is no short here. That means if I will measure the resistance value on the same coils as before, I will not get short. Let's measure. Aha, uh -huh. short. Here, there is no short. And here there is no short. That means this line was shorted because of the baseband chip and this one was shorted because of the baseband chip also but this one is shorted because something else. Okay let's check where this coil is connected to. This is how this coil is connected to the baseband chip. So if there is a short on the baseband chip, it will be transferred to here. Then the coil is a piece of wire. It will transfer to here uh, as well. And then it will go to the baseband PMU. So now after we removed the baseband chip and the short is gone, we know that the baseband power is not the one is creating the short. And the coil uh, cannot create a short. So let's check the baseband itself on these or those pads to check if it's shorted or no. So this is the orientation of the baseband chip, baseband CPU, and we will turn it like that. So everything in this side will be in that side. So if we check these two pads, we have a short. That short is an internal short on the chip itself. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything about it. So this phone cannot be fixed and cannot be used as a phone anymore. You can use it as an iPod to listen to music and browse internet. But to make calls, you cannot because you don't have the IMEI, the International Mobile Identification, uh, I don't know. This is a common problem and I feel sad every time I receive a phone like that. And also note that if you update your iPhone or restore your iPhone or even did a factory setting, a reset factory setting to this iPhone, the iPhone will stuck on the activation and you will not be able to use it even as an as even as an iPod. I think I should call this video how to not fix iPhone 7. I will release this video so you can benefit of the information I give you, hopefully. And if you like this video, give me a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my coming videos. And share these videos with your friends who may be interested. That's it. My work here is done. I'll see you next one. How to fix iPhone 7 searching for network all the time. How to fix iPhone 7 searching for network. How to fix iPhone 7 searching for network. Uh. How to fix, how to fix, how to fix iPhone 7 searching for network all the time.